Hi, welcome to the 15th stage of this year's Tour de France, and we are still in the Pyrenees. We will be heading over the outer categorized climb up to Port de la Balais. The climb is 19.3 kilometers long, with an average slope with about 6.1%. My name is Dick Henderson, and as always, by my side, our expert commentator, Jim Jones. And uh, Jim, is uh, Alberto Contador uh, ready to take over the yellow leader jersey? Well, uh, yeah, maybe he's uh, maybe he's ready, maybe he's not. But um, I guess we uh, we have to watch and uh, find out. Yes, we do. And here we can see pictures from the start earlier today. The riders uh, left the start city and uh, we're heading off to uh, a little bit more elevated uh, terrain and mountains. The sun was shining earlier this morning, and uh, so was also uh, Alberto Contador and the other climbers. They know that they're still got some days left in the Pyrenees before it's the time trial. And uh, as always, we had a breakaway uh, earlier this morning. And uh, among them was uh, Jussi Veikonen from France de Chaux. And Fabien Wegman from Milram. And on the third climb of the day, uh, Thomas Lökvist, the Swede from uh, Team Sky, found out that he might want to attack. And he got some company by the... Scandalous, even Basso so far in the Tour de France. He uh, caught up with Lerquist and those two started to ride up to the breakaway riders. And now we're tuning in live. Hi and welcome back! Ivan Basso just caught up with the breakaway riders. He left Thomas Lerquist behind uh, down there in that uh, hill. The last climb of the day, actually. And uh, he just blows past them. He uh, really wants this stage win. And we got a viewer's question. It's from uh, the DJ12. He's from Sweden. And he wants to know, who is the best Scandinavian rider in the general classification? And that's Thomas Lökvist. Yes. <laughs> uh, he sits on uh, the 17th spot in the general classification. He's about 22 minutes behind uh, Alejandro Valverde. And we got another question, it's from DJP19, he is Canadian, and he wants to know, with the Pyrenees looming, who is the strongest favorite in your opinion? And I guess he's uh, pointing at you, Jim. And um, who will wear the yellow jersey into Paris? Uh, my favorite uh, for the Pyrenees will be uh, Alberto Contador, but uh, I'm not so sure if he's going to be... Uh the, the wearer of the yellow jersey in Paris. Uh, what do you think? Uh, well, uh, I mean, Alejandro Valverde looks strong. He has been looking strong the, the whole Tour de France, actually. And, uh, of course, Lance Armstrong. As we can see, Carlos Sastre and uh, Alejandro Valverde countering on Carlos Sastre's attack. And behind him comes uh, Lemeval and Rain Terame. They are starting to attack pretty early on the climb, uh, don't you think, Jim? Well, there's no easy answer to that, that question, because uh, they've been... Uh, Almost at the same level, all this to the front. So I guess they have to, uh, maybe they have to attack now to get uh, a, a fair gap to uh, to hold on to the finish line. Yeah, maybe so. You're the expert, so it's your job to know that type of stuff. <laughs> As we can see, Lance Armstrong and Alberto Contador closing the gap up to Alejandro Valverde and Carlos Sastre. And, well, all the best favorites except uh, Andy Schleck and um, Kel Evans is there now. As we can see, Ivan Basso pouring downhill, he, uh, he will take this stage. And we've got another question, it's from E. Hagen, and uh, he wants to know, this has not been a great tour for the breakaways, do you think we will uh, have a breakaway staying away in the Pyrenees? And uh, what well, do you think, uh, Dick? This uh, uh, Well, it's a school example, actually, we can see Ivan Basso, he got about 12 minutes down to Alejandro Valverde and the other favorites. So he will going to take this, but uh, he's getting um, challenged now by John Gadre and uh, Dan Danny Pate. Danny Pate, the American. And uh, just uh, just a few minutes behind them, there's uh, Thomas Lerquist, and he, I I think he he'll also uh, hold on until the finish line. Yeah, he will probably gain some time. Harry, you can see him. He can see um, Danny Pate, and uh, there there he can see Danny Pate and uh, John Gadre. And we have just learned that Alberto Contador has attacked from the favorite group and he is now on his own on the way down to the finish line. And uh, Jim, pretty ambitious, don't you think? Yeah, it's pretty ambitious and uh, I think Armstrong is just behind him. Yeah, there you can see him in the picture. And Alejandro Valverde is desperately trying to defend his yellow jersey now. 
and uh, Lemaval, Rain Terame and Colo Sasso will probably just uh, sit on the wheel. Yeah, but where uh, where's uh, Cadel Evans and Andy Schleck? They are sitting with the peloton, that's what we have gotten reports on, and uh, that's not uh, very good. Uh, they are gambling, it's it's gambling though, sitting yeah, in the peloton. Yeah, because it's 10 kilometers left and they got a huge gap back to the peloton. Yeah, and there we can see Nibali and Wiggins, those riders are behind Colossostro and Valverde's group, there we can see Clöden. And there comes a uh, Van den Broek and Van der Velde, and I believe that was Rogers. And here we can see Andy Schleck and Ked Levin's group. They are far behind now. As you can see that John Gadre and Danny Pate has caught up with Ivan Basso. It's just around this corner, and then it's the sprint. Ivan Basso opens his sprints first. John Gadre is far behind. I don't think he's going to be able to take it this from Ivan Basso. He comes strong, so yeah, Danny Pate is out of it, and it's going to be Ivan Basso. He's went from a scandalous Tour de France to a fantastic stage win. Congratulations, Liquigas. They finally got a little bit of success here in the Tour de France. Yeah, but uh, they still got uh, Nibali in the... In the in second the, group. Yeah, and, and it's... Uh, no, no, that was the early break. Yeah, that was... Um, and here comes... Uh, Alberto Contador uh, with... Uh, yeah, Lance they, Armstrong. Yeah, it's no bonus second, so it's okay. They came in together. Val, and then there's... Carlos Sastre uh, in front of Valverde. Valverde. And, I think uh, he lost his jersey today. And Lemavel, yeah, he was far behind. I think Back he's of Wiggins. A few seconds behind. And now it should be Nibali. No, it's Clöden. And uh, here Van comes the Brook. group of Andy Schleck and Cat Levens, and they they lost. They, they did lost a few minutes today. Yeah, they lost. They're uh, they're out of uh, the general classifications for sure. It turned out to be a action-packed day in the Tour de France. Ivan Basso and Thomas Lerquist uh, went uh, on the third climb of the day, and uh, hold on. To the finish line. As we can see, Lance Armstrong raising his hands above the he his head. He uh, retakes the lead of the yellow jersey. Tor Hussard still holds on to the green jersey, but is uh, kind of threatened by Valverde, surprisingly enough. And uh, Andy Schleck holds on to the king of the mountain jersey. No uh, real competition there, actually. And uh, he also got uh, under 25 a youth classification. He's uh, only 33 seconds in, in front of Rain Terame. Yeah, he lost some, uh, some time today. And then yes. there's uh, Radio Shack leading the team classification. And I have been Dick Anderson. Alongside me was our expert commentator Jim Jones. Arrivederci! Arriva. The weather was uh, fine and hot and ready for the riders. <laughs> Ready for the run. Uh, hot. Hot. <laughs> hot. hot. The weather was fine and uh, pretty pretty hot here in uh, France now when the start went off earlier to morning. To morning. <laughs> yes, those two will probably ride alone and Alejandro Valverde is desperately trying to defend his yellow jersey. Jim, haven't you got any manners? Turn on your phone where we are on live.